Hello, this is Moi Bun. In the last video, I showed you how to find and download textures from Booth. And in this video, I will show you how to load different textures into your Vroid model. You can load a ready-to-use model into Vroid and make adjustments from there. You can also load hair, skin, face, clothes separately to develop a 3D avatar of your own. And this video will cover all of them. But let's jump into Vroid now. So I've downloaded a hair preset, a 3D model, and body textures, and eyelash textures, iris textures, and clothes textures. And I'm just going to give you a quick guide on how to load them into Vroid. First, I'm going to show you how to load a whole model into Vroid. You need to pay attention that the Vroid can only accept the file name that ends with .vroid. .vrm is not an acceptable format name for Vroid to read it. So make sure that when you download a 3D model, it ends with .vroid. After you download into the folder that you desire, the way to open it is not to double click on it. For example, if you double click it, it can only start the Vroid Studio for you and the result will not be in here. But you need to load this file into where they save the avatars and then it will be shown in Vroid. You go to local disk C and users and then you choose by username, then you go to documents and here's a Vroid folder. There's a folder called avatars and you double click on it and you drag the dot Vroid model in here and then it will be loaded into the Vroid model. So the name is called first try. It's actually the first model that I was making. Now you see it is showing over here. This is how you load a 3D model into Vroid. Now I'm going to use this model as an example to show you how to load hair presets into the model. The next step, I will show you how to load hair presets into the model. As you can see, I've downloaded a hair preset over here. And uh, if you click into it, there's materials and preset.json. Or you cannot just drag it into Vroid to open it. You need to also load this texture into the folder where it's saving all of the hair presets and they will be loaded in that way. You still need to go to local disk C, users, username. From here, you need to go to app data. If you can find the app data, go to view, tick on the hidden items and then the app data will be showing for you. Then you go to local low and then you go to Pixiv. There's Vroid Studio. Then you go into the hair presets and this is the place where all the hair presets are saved. You need to drag this hair preset into this folder. And now this hair preset is loaded in the Vroid. So you need to restart. File that I was adding was 121156 and we need to find it in the preset. Go to hair editor. Here you can find 121156 and you just click on it and say import from preset. Now the hairstyle just completely changed. So this is how you load the hair preset into the Vroid model. In the next step, I'm going to show you how to change textures on face and body. To update the body texture, you need to go to the body editor, then you click texture. From here, you can update the texture. You need to create a new overlay. So rename this one and then right click over here and say import. This window will be popping up for you and you just need to locate where you put the textures. You need to click on the texture that are kind of having the same templates as how it looks over here. And you click open. Make sure that you don't load, for example, clothes into body textures or body textures into clothes. You just need to open this one. And now my body texture is changed. If you want to add more things to it, you can add one more layer on top of it and you can draw on it and you can always delete or toggle visibility to make it back to original. This is how you load the body texture and this pretty much goes all the way of how you load face. You can edit your mouth, your tongue, your iris, your, your eyebrows. For example, if you want to update the eyelashes, click in the eyelashes and create a new layer. And in this new layer, import what eyelashes you downloaded. Create a new layer in the texture, import the texture that you downloaded is how you load most of the textures into the model. The only different ones are how to load the whole model and how to load the hair preset. And in the end, I am going to show you how to load clothes. Before you load clothes textures into the model, you need to understand that there are a lot of different types of it. Uniform, one piece, long coat, they are all having different templates. You can try the long coat and you go to texture and then you understand how this template is looking. If you change to a uniform, if you go to the texture, you will see the default image is different, a sweater and a color. If you load one texture into a different template, it will show like this, it will be out of bound. 
you go to uniform and then you go to texture and over here you can import what's downloaded and then it is showing correctly so you need to make sure that you are loading texture into the correct template otherwise it will show in the wrong way you can load skirts and pants in this way and that's basically the same way how you load the rest of the clothes so that's all for this video of how to load everything into vroid i hope this video gave you enough information of understanding how to use boost and how to load materials into vroid if this video helps you please give it a like and leave a comment down below if you have more suggestions or more tips to share please also give me a comment as well please subscribe to this channel i would really appreciate and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye